Hello, well, I'm Thomas Taylor, and I'm the author of Malamanda and the sequel Gargantis. And I'm very pleased to be here on the World Book Day Book Club. Um, and now I'm going to read you an extract from Malamanda. I'm going to read you the opening chapter, um, and we're going to see how that goes on. So the opening chapter of Malamanda introduces my magical world, Erion Sea. You've probably been to Erion Sea without ever knowing it. When you came, it would have been summer. There would have been ice cream and deck chairs and a seagull that pinched your chips. You probably poked about in the rock pools with your mum while your dad found that funny shell. Remember? And I bet when you got in the car to drive home, you looked up at the light bulb letters cheery on the sea written on the pier and got ready to forget all about your day at the seaside. It's that kind of place in the summer. But you should try being here when the first winter storms blow in, when the letters C and H blow off the pier, as they always do in November. When the sea mist drifts up the streets like vast ghostly tentacles and salt water spray rattles the windows of the Grand Nautilus Hotel. Few people visit Erie on sea then. Even the locals keep off the beach when darkness falls and the wind howls around more rocks and the wreck of the battleship Leviathan where even now some swear they've seen the unctuous Malamander creep. But you probably don't believe in the Malamander. You maybe think there's no way a fish man can be real. And that's fine. Stick to your ice cream and deck chairs. This story probably isn't for you anyway. In fact, do yourself a favour and stop reading now. Close this book and lock it in an old tin box. Wrap the box in a heavy chain and throw it off the pier. Forget you ever heard of Erie on Sea. Go back to your normal life, grow up, get married, start a family. And when your children can walk, take them for a day at the seaside too. In the summer, of course. Stroll on the beach and find a funny shell of your own. Reach down and pick it up. Only it's stuck to something. Stuck to an old tin box. The lock has been torn off and the chain is gone. Can the sea do that? You open the box and find that it's empty. Nothing but barnacles and seaweed and something else. Something like slime. You hear a sound behind you. A sound like footsteps coming closer. Like slimy, flippery footsteps coming closer. You turn around. What do you see? Really? Well, maybe this story is for you after all.